Merida, Mexico is the safest city in all of Mexico. Also, it's the second safest city in all of the Americas. All right? So, if you guys want to know more about what I just said, well, you already know what to do. Just wait five more seconds for the intro, and uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Today, we're talking about Merida, Mexico yet again. Now, today we're talking about a very, very easy subject for me to cover. We're talking about Merida being the safest city in all of Mexico. That's right. And, you know, what really brought me to make this video today was the fact that I was just scouring through the internet the other day and um, I, I came across a local um, news article that was saying that Merida, Mexico was uh, voted as the second safest city in all of the Americas. That's right, the second safest city in all of the Americas. That means all the way from Alaska, Canada, all the way down to Argentina. Me Merida, Mexico was number two in safe safety. That's pretty awesome, hell yeah. Number one, I'm sure you guys are asking, you know, number one was, damn it, what was it? It was uh, Ottawa, it was Ottawa. Was it Ottawa or Ontario? I think it was Ontario. Man, it's terrible. By the way, I already filmed one of these and I had like some te technical difficulties and now I was like, geez, man, you know, I'm starting to get on a roll again and I forgot. But anyways, it was either Ottawa or Ontario. I think it was Ottawa. Regardless, it don't matter. It's in Canada. You know, hey, we, you know, that's pretty obvious, eh? <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I mean, uh, okay, so, but yeah, so we're, we're talking about Medina, Mexico. Now, listen, guys, I've been living here for about a year and a half, and, um, and it, it is the safest, you know? Like, to me, I've been in a lot of places, and um, I, I felt, I've never felt safer than out here. Now, I know I've made tons of videos about my life out here and living out here and talking about all the cool things about Medina, Mexico, but, you know, one of the things that I sometimes I don't, don't touch on is just the safety aspect, because... I, I, look, I was born and raised in Miami, and I've spent a lot of time around the country and in, in a lot of dangerous places. And uh, to me, it's I'm, I'm always looking over my shoulder. I'm always, you know, like just making sure um, of my surroundings and always just being very, very careful. And I, that's always going to stay with me because just of the way I grew up. I'm never going to like let my guard down. But, you know, out here, you know, um, I'm constantly um, being reminded of how safe it is because I always got my guard up and I'm realizing that nobody does nobody out here does you know now sure you know this is a big city and you know there's always people you know of all aspects you know what i mean and shit happens you know what i mean it just does but you know when it comes down to it you know you might get like um uh, a really aggressive vendor or you might get someone that you know might try to hustle you you know as a tourist or you might just get you know just your average uh you know regular run-of-the-mill you know petty crimes but other than that that's that's about it and you know again every once in a while you'll hear of uh, things that happen out here but again it's just it's such a few and far in between and we still have to realize you know where we're at and and you know in the world you know we're in the middle of latin america or at the tippy top you know right before we start going down into central and uh, you know the rest of the americas but again guys you know just talking about that for a minute we, we already know that a lot of the propaganda you guys get fed out there, but we all get fed out there, is, you know, fake, phony, and false. You know, they always say that, you know, Mexico is the, the most dangerous place on earth. You know, all of Central America, name your country, is also one of the most dangerous places on earth and all this other stuff. But, you know, the reality is that it's not. You know, Caracas, Venezuela is considered the number one most dangerous place in all of the Americas or in the world. In fact, Caracas, Venezuela is the most dangerous country in the world. I mean, the most dangerous city in the world. And, you know, I read that and, you know, with all the research and all the, you know, videos and all the stuff that I do posting in and talking about Venezuela, it's like, really? Really? You know what I mean? Like, we already know it's fake. You know what I mean? There's no way in hell that that's the truth, all right? And um, because there's a lot more dangerous places out there. This is the fact. And, uh, you know, sure, there's danger in Venezuela, but we already know that they're trying to, you know, feed us some, uh, you know, a mumbo jumbo there, you know, in order to you know, uh, brainwash your minds a little bit. So the same thing goes with Mexico. You know, there's a lot of cities in Mexico and a lot of areas in Mexico which are considered extremely dangerous, but they're actually not. 
in fact you know when you come down to it you know you can do the research yourself and you know look at just do a quick search on the internet and you'll quickly find out that there's a lot of dangerous cities in the u.s and again you know the people that are controlling uh and creating these um polls and creating these uh you know um these statistics you know have a bias and uh and even with that bias you still get to see you know there's plenty of u.s cities that are you know in the, the most dangerous in the world and uh you know, just into the top 100 cities in the world, top 100 safest cities in the world, you know, we have, you know, the usual suspects at number one, two, three, you know, places like Switzerland, you know, places like New Zealand, like, uh, like, like Germany, like, um, like Dubai, you know, there's a lot of places that are in the top, you know, which are just pretty obvious, you know, um, and then, you know, when you're going again to like the, the you know, the, the safest cities in the, in the, in the Americas, um, you're going to find Merida, Mexico is number 21 in the world. All right. Merida, Mexico is number one. I mean, it's number 21 in, in worldwide standing as the safest in the world. Okay. Now, the, the closest U.S. city to that is 53. All right. Out of the top 100, Salt Lake City ranks in at number 53 so again many that is 21 all right uh, so and and then number two for the us of a is madison wisconsin and we know about madison wisconsin you know we know it's pretty safe out there salt lake city eh you know it's i you know i don't know if it's number 53 it might you know i, I don't know I, I i thought that madison wisconsin would probably be safer but whatever what do i know but you know then we keep going down the list and we see the puerto vallarta which is located in Mexico, um, is number 83. So Puerto Vallarta is the second safest city in all of Mexico. And, um, you know, if you're asking the Mexican people, um, you know, what they think, you know, they, they still, they don't even rank no Merida or Puerto Vallarta in their top five or 10. You know, they have other cities, you know, that they consider way safer. But that's asking the Mexican people, not asking, you know, on a worldwide scale, poll, statistic, you know, whatever, you know, um, so, that, I mean, just to show you that, you know, a lot of the propaganda out there is fake, phony, and false, you know, where they say that the U.S. of A. is safe and full of freedom and all this shit, but again, for anyone out there that's an actual U.S. citizen or anyone out there that has, you know, traveled to the U.S. from other places, you know, they know fully well that the U.S. of A. is not safe at all. Um, south side of Chicago is not that safe. Um, Baltimore is not that safe. Miami is not safe. Um, Los Angeles and certain parts of Southern California not safe at all. And the list goes on and on. Okay, there's plenty of places. You know, I'm looking at you, St. Louis. I'm looking at you, San Francisco. Not San Francisco. I'm looking at you at other cities. Hold on a second, guys. I'm, I'm doing some work on my computer, and I just got the alarm telling me that uh, battery is about to run out. So you know, I don't want these videos that I'm processing over there to you know, uh, get kaput. Sorry about that. So, so as I was saying, guys, you know, we got to look at a lot of this uh, propaganda. Now, where do I get this list? Where do I get this information of, uh, you know, where, I, you know, I got my, you know, Medina being the safest city or the second safest city and that whole thing. Um, again, there's a lot of various lists on all on the internet. I, to me, how I got this information, I was just looking at the Yucatan today, you know, just a local newspaper, and they said that, again, you know, Merida's number two safest city in all of the Americas. Then I just started to do a little more research, you know, because I wanted to provide the proper information to you guys, and I, I found out that, again, you know, yeah, Merida has, like, uh, number, you know, Merida for, like, the third or fourth year in a row is voted number one safest city in all of Mexico, and, um, you know, um, you know, and, and, and so regardless of like uh, how a lot of these cities are ranked, you know, around the world, you know, on these lists, Merida is still ranked at the top. Okay, and so to me that says a lot because, you know, you know right now, you know, you're looking at uh, some list out there, and they say like Caracas, Venezuela is the most dangerous place on earth. It's not, you know, there's a lot more dangerous places on earth. And the same thing goes with other, you know, other lists, you know, that name U.S. cities as the most safest places on earth. They're not, you know, they're just not, you know, and so, and this is that, you know, this is a simple fact, all right? And, um, and so on and so forth. So that's why we got to like look at a lot of information and make our own judgments on, on these things. But, you know, regardless, guys, you know, when it comes down to it, you know, if you're looking for a... This, a really, really safe place to not just live, but a safe place to conduct business, a safe place to, um, you know, raise your family, raise your children, um, whatever it is, you know, any, anything like that. 
you know, when where safety is a number one concern, then you know you should really look into Merida. And for a lot of you guys out there, a lot of people that are looking at this particular video or looking at a lot of my videos talking about Merida, Mexico with the intent of not just traveling out here, but literally moving out here like you know, for the for for a good more, you know, for either a good majority of time, like um, like me, or probably for the rest of your life, like a lot of you guys out there, like retirees. Then, man, you know, what more do you what what more um what more do you need um for um as a selling point than this being again named the safest city in all the Americas, the second safest city in all of the Americas. I mean, what more do you want? I mean, I know a lot of you guys, you know, always, uh, you know, think about moving to Latin America or you know, wanting that Latin American flair. But you know, you guys are most of us are always very, very worried about the dangers of living south of the border because of all the propaganda we're being fed. But you know, what more, um, what more positive advertisement can you get than this? All right, and um, again, guys, you know, there's a lot of reasons as to why this particular city is considered the safest city in all of Mexico. All right, for reals, because if you just like leave outside of the borders of the state of Yucatan, because Medina, Mexico, by the way, just a reminder, Medina, Mexico is the capital is the capital city of the state of the Yucatan. The state of the Yucatan is a state okay in the United States of Mexico I know we just call it Mexico but the reality is that it's it's called the United States of Mexico all right well a fun fact there so you know within the borders of the Yucatan and especially within the borders of um, the many of many the Mexico the city borders and, and even the outskirts it's still you know again it's completely crazy safe but the further away you get from many the all right and especially when you're going down to Quintana Roo which is the state in which Cancun is located or even Campeche but definitely Quintana Roo where Cancun is located man that is not one of the safest places in fact Cancun is one of the most dangerous places in Mexico and that's again there's no numbers here this is just considered by most Mexicans because you know just this close proximity to the Caribbean to the beaches to the US and again just the drug trade you know um, all the drugs that come you know from you know from South America Latin America Central America um, they make their way to, through Cancun and out and vice versa so just you know just so you guys get an idea of um, you know why Cancun is crazy dangerous and if you travel you know to Cancun you will automatically see how dangerous it is out there now I'm not trying to you know um, put people off from traveling or visiting Cancun but you know it's just a fact you know I'm trying to save you guys some some time because there's a reason why you know most people that travel out here more than once and have already been to Cancun once, they don't want to go back to Cancun. And in fact, if they want more of that Cancun type feel, they keep heading down the Yucatan, you know, closer to Belize, um, all the way down to, um, not again, not Belize, but you know, halfway between Belize and Cancun. And they, you know, go to places like Tulum, Playa del Carmen, and so on and so forth. You know, a lot of places out there in which, you know, where it's taken the place of Cancun because Cancun has just become, you know, not a good place to hang out. Now, Merida is, for whatever reason, um, kept extremely, extremely safe. You know, there's a lot of, uh, I don't want to say military presence, but there just is outside of the city, there's a lot of military and police presence, which makes sure to keep this place safe. Now, you know, this goes back to like the whole thing in the US, you know, where they have checkpoints and they got shit like that. Yeah, they got that stuff out here. But, you know, when you're going through other parts of Mexico, you know, the checkpoints that you're going to see in other parts of Mexico are not are more like the checkpoints that you might see in the US. OK, meaning that, you know, they're looking for, you know, they're just looking for a shakedown sometimes. OK, and that's not always the case. I'm not trying to talk, you know, um, negatively about, you know, Mexico, because, again, Mexico, it's very surprising that once you find out that it's very safe to travel all the way through Mexico as long as you avoid certain areas just like in the US man you know you're good to go or just like in any other part of the world you know just avoid certain areas I mean come on you know it's just uh, if you don't know then do a little research before you travel and you should be okay but um you know these checkpoints that you're gonna find across Mexico you can find them across the US as well but again in the US you know to me they're a lot more dangerous than anything I'm gonna find in fucking Mexico because worst case scenario you know you come across the wrong checkpoint you can get out of it for you know again 25 to 50 US dollars in the US you come across the wrong checkpoint you're fucked that's it 
game over. You know what I mean? So it's a big difference. You know, that's why, you know, I, I get like the corruption and the, the situation out here, but you can't compare. But anyways, when it comes down to like Merida, Mexico and the, and the surrounding areas, you know, um, the checkpoints that you're going to come across are not the same ones that you're going to come across in other parts of Mexico. And for the most part, they're, they're, if, you're, they, if they see you as a tourist, they see you as someone that, you know, is obviously not doing anything bad, you know, just from, you know, again, perception, right? Um, they're going to let you right through, no problem. You know, but for others, especially if you're coming from, you know, the surrounding states, oh yeah, man, you know what I mean? The Yucatan and Merida is very... Um, you know, they're very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, they're, um, they vet a lot of the people, you know what I mean? They make sure that um, not everyone can just get in here, you know, for obvious reasons, because that's, again, they're trying to keep it as safe as possible. And for anyone out there, you know, if you just go to LA, for example, and this this is, goes across the US and across the world, but like, for example, in LA, if you're in downtown LA, if you're in uh, the Valley, if you're in certain parts of LA, you know, you're gonna see, you know, um, you, you're gonna see the homeless problem right on the street. You're gonna see the homeless problem right there. But if you go to certain places like Beverly Hills, Culver City, and so on and so forth, you could definitely not going to see the you know the homeless problem in fact you know there's a there's an area that's like a border of like los angeles and culver city um and uh i forgot why it's not los angeles but it's in, it's in los angeles it's a like culver city and like another city there and like literally you get to see it's like under the underpass you get to see the, all the homeless on one side and then on the culver city side it's clean as a whistle so you know that's kind of like the same situation out here with medina and the yucatan so for, for remember this video is is mainly for anyone that's traveling out here anyone that's looking to live out here and so on and so forth and so i'm just giving you a little bit of more of a background as to you know um so you guys can feel safe Safe, that this place is gonna remain safe okay now there are dangerous things out here um, but for the most part the dangerous things are not what you think so what other dangerous things you know watch when you're walking you know so when you're walking or riding your bike just watch out for the Mexican drivers you know and again you know if you come from Miami New York certain cities out there eh, you're already used to the aggressive drivers you know but if you're coming from other parts of the world you know maybe not might you might not be so used to as aggressive drivers so that's a danger um, sometimes when you're walking you know you could you know trip on a hole you know think bugs sometimes are dangerous you know that's it <laughs> You know, again, you know, I think I made a video on this a while ago as to the dangers in Mexico and it was just things like that. You know what I mean? Danger of getting fat from eating too much. You know, just things like that. But for the most part... <laughs> oh, man. Me and these batteries and me and these cameras, man. I'm telling you, I'm never going to get used to using these things. Sorry about that. Camera turned off. Battery ran out as I was finishing the episode. But uh, again, even the camera wants me to finish it up and wrap it up. So, guys... Thank you so much for watching today. I really, really, really hope that you enjoyed today's episode and uh, that it was able to shed some light. And please, let's uh, continue the discussion. I want you guys to ask me some more questions about Merida, Mexico and, uh, and other, you know, the, just safety. You know what I mean? Like, what, what are your concerns? What are you guys, uh, you know, concerned about when uh, it is uh, about traveling or moving out here? Because, you know, again, guys, safety should not be one of them at all. You know what I mean? You, you're very safe out here and in the surrounding areas, you know? So even if you go to Progress, and you go to literally anywhere around the Yucatan, you should be totally 100% safe. Now, again, nothing is 100% safe. Nothing is 100% anything. But still, you know, you're going to be totally fine out here. If you guys are totally fine, you know, driving across the country or going to certain, you know, um, other cities in the U.S., then you'll be fine out here. Again, you know, uh, the, the, the only other, again... The, uh, Merida, Mexico is number 21 safest city in the whole world. The closest city that comes to that in the United States of America is Salt Lake City. Not number 53. So again, guys, you know, literally if you've gone anywhere in the U.S., you'll be fine out here, all right, when it comes to safety. And in fact, you know, depending on where you come from, you're probably the danger. You're probably the one that people are looking out for. You're probably the dangerous person out there, all right, literally. <laughs> So just keep that in mind as well, all right? So, you know, when uh, when you're dealing with people. And, oh, yeah, one thing I forgot to mention. Um, on the 19th and through the 22nd, you know, the World, the World Summit for the Nobel Peace Prize is going to be meeting out here. 
Um, I don't know if the Dalai Lama and stuff like that are going to be here, but again, you know, those kind of people are going to be here. Again, you know, they're, they're choosing this as a, a place for that. The Yucatan and, um, and the world, I mean, the Yucatan and Mexico, but definitely in the Yucatan has some of the most uh, world heritage sites uh, in the world as well. You know, when it comes to like a lot of the temples and a lot of the, you know, the magic cities and a lot of the, you know, ruins and, and you know, the the Mayan ruins and all this other stuff. So, you know, again, guys, you know, there's so much stuff out here. And uh, last but not least, the people out here, the people out here beyond crazy, friendly, and nice, and, and amicable, and just uh, beyond hospitable. You know, it's, it's, it's insane how insanely nice the people are, are, are out here. And again, you end up feeling like the piece of shit asshole, you know, after you, you know, you've been here for a while because you get to see that, wow, you know what I mean? People can actually be nice, you know, all the time. You know, for me. so anyways, all right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. This episode has gone long enough. And, um, uh, yeah, that's it guys. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. Please let's, uh, you know, share some comments. Want to give a shout out to all my patrons. Want to give a shout out to everyone out there buying t-shirts and uh, supporting me and Lambo. And, uh, that's it guys. Thanks again. And, um, I'll see you guys manana. Thanks again for watching. Peace. Hey guys, guess what? Me and Lambo are still here. We haven't left yet. You know why we're here? Because I want to tell you all about this new store that I just opened up. Yeah, that's right. It's our new sponsor as well. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. So, as you guys can see, this is the store. I just opened up the store, I don't know, about a week ago. And um, I'm going to be selling all my merch and all of our stuff here, whether it's Lambo stickers, whether it's, you know, mugs, t-shirts, jackets, you name it. We got all kinds of stuff that you guys can buy and um, help support the show. Now you get to have your very own shirt or your very own Lambo sticker. And if you guys want any special requests on things for me to put in the store, then please, by all means, let me know and uh, we'll get our graphic artist, you know, on top of it. Yeah, that means you gotta work, Lambo. All right, guys, thank you so much. Love you guys and I'll see you guys manana.